Right. So now I'll continue after the continuity uh, testing just now. Okay. Now we'll go to the series and parallel, and then we'll have the series parallel connections, and regarding how the calculation happens and everything. Okay. So uh, what I'm going to uh, show you guys now is regarding how to connect in series. So for the series part, you can see I'm using a knot point. Okay. So. Uh, this knot and then resistor sign to here these knot points are the holes in the breadboard so you can see later once I fix the resistance you'll uh, link it let's say if I cut put the one here this is one knot and then up to here and then continue another knot so later, once I'm fixing the resistors we will see how it works okay so the series formula always uh, resistance are just adding on okay so now you can see here, I have three different types of resistors of each. Uh, this is 1K, this is 2K, this is 3K. Okay, the color coding for 1K is brown, black, red. And then for the 2K is uh, red, black, red. And then the uh, 3K is orange, black, red. I hope you know all your color codings for the resistors or else you should go and learn it so that you can be eligible yourself to be called as an engineer. Okay, now I'm taking the 1K. Okay, you can plug it in any of the holes here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so this is my knot 1, and then this is the knot 2. Okay. Now I'm going to take the 2K. So, as per the diagram, you can see. Uh, the knot at R2 meets at R1 here. Okay. So what I'm going to do, just put it here, and you can put this anywhere. Okay. So, so this is the connections of a resistor in series. So it goes from one knot here, resistor, and then they meet at the same line of the breadboard connections and uh, in the previous video I, uh, what I said was the continuity is in uh, one this whole one line meaning it's connected if the connection is here then there is no link of the resistors whatsoever so you need to link it therefore every time when you get a normal uh, breadboard connections uh, sorry circuit connections in, in the diagram let's say like And perhaps uh, so this means series and then when it comes to here it's separate into parallel so in this connection here from what you can see is they meet at this point right so okay so first I draw this connection and then now you can see that uh, R2 and this is R3 okay so R2 is at this connection here right they're meeting it here so you put a connection here and then you go like that so this is your R2 this is your R1 okay let me just complete the connection here okay so now R2 and R3 they meet at this point every time when uh, in the the diagram of your circuit just see where exactly each point meets for each component so now you can see that just now R1 meets at the point of here where R2 and R3 also meets so now we have a connection for R3 as well so you can see R2 and R3 they meet at this point so this one whole point is this point here so this is your R3 and then later on you can see R2 and R3 again they meet at this same point here so this means that this one whole line is your breadboard connections over here. Okay, so now going back to the series connections, uh, this part here. So the formula to uh, measure the resistance of the uh, series circuit is R1 plus R2. Okay, so Mathematically, it's just R1 plus R2, which is 1K plus 2K, you get 
3 kilo ohms. The symbol for resistance is ohms. Okay. So now I'm going to use the multimeter to measure. So again, you just switch it on, go to resistance. The connection of the probe remains the same as the previous video. Okay. So now uh, it's already set to uh, ohms and then it's auto range. So whatever range of your resistance, kilo, mega, or giga, yeah, you can get the readings. So now, okay, let me put this beside. So that, okay, so one point here and then the other point here. So the reading you get is 2.963 kilo ohms okay the resistance value varies is due to the tolerance of the resistor so each of the tolerance of the resistor is uh, from the color band the fourth band there's gold silver and another one more I'm not sure I can't remember okay so as you can see just now the red uh, they vary is due to the tolerance so no problem on that okay the next one now we'll go to is the parallel connections. So you can see, as the previous diagram I showed over here, when it's in parallel, they, they turn out to be like this. So you can come back, uh, uh, we go back to the parallel side here. So they are in the same line. In the series, it wasn't in the same line. It was just in the same line at one point to have a continuation of the circuit. In parallel, they are connected in one line, both both sides of their legs. So, okay, uh, the the connections uh, we'll do it right now. Okay, just just now we had the R one connected in series to R two, right? So we just plug out this, and then put it in the same line for both legs. You need to be gentle with the legs. If they break, then you have to go and get another one. So, yeah. Okay. So this is the connections in parallel. So here you can see, it's in one line, and the other side is also in the one line. Doesn't matter which uh, hole that you go into in in the straight one line, as long as in in the same line. Okay, so now we go back to the formula here. The, uh, the formula here is 1 over RT equals to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. So we can simplify the formula into this form. So we just do cross multiplication and then same the denominator and then we flip it. So we get the formula of R1 times R2 over R1 plus R2. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so now we measure the resistance of the parallel circuit. So you see, we get the total resistance level of 667. So when we calculate using a calculator, we will also get the same value. Where you just put a bracket, 1 GI by 1000, which is 1 kilo ohms, plus bracket 1 GI by 2000. You get 3 over 2000, then you flip it. So 2000 divided by 3. So you see, 667. So that uh, explains regarding connections of parallel and series. And then now we move on to a much more complicated side where it's a connection of series and parallel. So you can see that the first connection here is in parallel, which is same as previous. And then I'm adding on a series connection here. And then later on, another again, a uh, another series connection but you have parallel connections in it so in our breadboard each of the holes that are connected here they have a limit of 5 and 4 sorry so you can see we have total of 6 points which is 1 2 3 4 5 6 so in the breadboard over here we have only 5 we do not have another one more we can create another hole that's obvious so what we'll do is uh, you can see I just moved it up it's the same thing still 
the connections of it will be the same and we we'll don't we do not need to go to the below part okay so now uh, let me do the connections so for here my r1 and r2 remains the same value r1 is 1k uh, r2 is 2k and then now my r3 is going to be 3k okay Having difficulty at times to enter, which is normal. Okay, now let me fix the R4. Right, so this is the R4 and then R5. And then our the final one. Okay. Sorry that it's taking time for me to plug in. I have big fingers. Okay. So now all the connection, all the connections are done. So you can see. Uh, the two parallels connected in series with this and then again in connected in series to the three parallels over here so you need to make sure that uh, every time when you're doing connections of resistors the connect the it doesn't touches any of the other resistors because if it do your, your reading will fluctuate and you do not get the right reading so you need to be careful on that okay okay so you can see my connections R1 and R2 they meet at this node so you can see 1 R1 here R2 here and R3 here all of them are in the same line of the knot of the uh, connections and then for R3 parallel to R4 5 6 you can see the connections here all of them meet in the same line Okay, so now uh, just do a brief and very fast calculation on the connections. So over here it's a parallel connection, so it's R uh, one over R one plus one over R two, and then here is just straight directly R three, and then over here is a parallel of three resistors, so one over R four, one over R five, one over R six. So in this equation here, we again we just do a cross multiplication for each. So if you already have an R4, you just multiply R5, R6, then plus R4 plus uh, times R6, and then over here is R4 times R5. So the common denominator here is the R4, R5, and R6. So here all they have the addition, and then again you just flip it, so you get this equation. But this is uh, all these calculations over here here are meant for properly maybe you want to do your when you are writing discussions in your report or whatsoever then you can just do this multiplication uh, these uh, equations for your discussion uh, purpose but if you are just a, a very lazy person you just use the calculator and you just key in so the first one here is uh, one okay, sorry pull a bracket one divided by the first value is 1000 then plus 1 divided by 2000 bracket plus 1 divided by 3000 so you get 11 over 6000 so now again you flip it so 6000 divided by 11 so you get value of 545 uh, 5. and then R3 here is 3k and then our uh, value for R1 over R1 and 1 over R2 is 667 ohms. Okay, so let's measure our circuit right here. 
So one point at here, it can be anyone. It can be here or here. It's the same thing as long as you have the ending here right as well. So you get the reading to be 4.2 kilo ohms for measured reading based on the uh, multimeter. So here we have 667 ohms plus 3k plus 545 ohms which gives you about 600 and this it's about 4.202 yeah 4.202 kilo ohms roughly around there okay so this is how you do you check uh, regarding how you convert your con uh, this normal circuit uh, connections into knot points so that you can fit into here. So basically, whichever circuit that you get at times like uh, in, in your uh, lab reports or anything, let's say if it's a series connection like this, and then there's another one more resistor, and then another one more resistor, and let's say you have another resistor and then in a pair resistor so they go back to the in and that's all and this is the source so we don't look at the source we see the connection so series and then parallel so again nodal point here and then now R1 R2 R3 and R5. So now the nodal uh, R1 meets at R2 at this point here. So we put up another dot and then R2 meets at R3 at this point here. So you pin it, it and then R3 meets at this point and, and R4 and R5 also meet at this point. So this is R4 this is R5 and where does R4 and R5 meet again at the end so again they have the same connections here so this is two points at the same line two points at the same line again and three points and then two points so every time you need to see where the connection meets so based on the circuit here you convert this into this and then from this connection you move it to your breadboard to see how the connection uh, how uh, each of them they meet at the line which line it's up to you where you, you decide where you want to plug in but as long as you follow to get uh, according to your design here okay thank you